Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new Team MVPs in the store, in sets, and in packs. So as you guys can see, the two new MVPs are actually the two new offense and two new defensive ones anyways. Uh, the two new offensive ones we have are Keenan Allen and Eric Ebron. Uh, for the set, it's only one elite token, two gold tokens, you need the Tyra Williams Team of the Week. Austin Eckler, Football Outsider, then of course you need the Team Builder players, which Antonio Gates finally gets his upgrade, and of course Philip Rivers also gets his upgrade up to a 95 overall, so uh, a decent set right there. I don't know how good that card's going to be. Eric Ebron, I'm hoping he's pretty fast, because if he's decently fast, this card is actually really good. Uh, you do need the Team Week Marlon Mack, you need the 95 Marlon Mack, of course, and then the rest of the Team Builder players as well, and then of course one Elite Token and four Gold. And over on the defensive side of things, we do have two new defensive as well. And for the Cowboys, it's Jalen Smith. You guys know I'm super excited about this one. Now, personally, uh, I probably won't pick the card from my team just because I have so many middle linebackers. Uh, but maybe, just maybe, I will. We'll have to see. I do have Roquan Smith's uh, Rookie Premier, which that card is about to, like, not, like, expire. Uh, but it's currently coming up at the end of February. I don't think he's going to get another upgrade anytime soon. So he's not going to get a new card. Jalen Smith now is a 97 overall card. I might have to do it for the Cowboys. But 89 overall Sean Lee, 90 Leighton Van Der Resch, And you guys see the rest of the team. And it looks like a pretty expensive set to do, honestly. Because I'm sure Leighton's probably going to be shooting up a price now. He's about 90,000 coins. Uh, Sean Lee flashback? How much is he? He's 125k. Yeah. A little expensive. And then, of course, you have Cheeto, Xavier Woods, Jeff Heath. Kind of upset we didn't get a Travis Frederick uh, or a Dak Prescott. One of those two would have been very nice to see. Uh, or actually, maybe we do have a Dak, just not in the set. And then, of course, Travis Frederick could be too. But as far as I know, there's no Frederick and there's no Dak Prescott. So I'll keep my eyes actually open for that and I'll check out, like, my head. But we do also have Malcolm Smith coming in. And you guys see his set. You do need Jordan Hicks, Michael Bennett, and Chris Long. And then for the set, you need Avante Maddox, Cravon LeBlanc, uh, Ronnie McLean, Haloti Nada, Ronald Darby, and Brandon Graham. Now, if you're a fellow Cowboys fan, there were some other offensive players added to this team to help you guys out with the theme team if you're using that. Uh, Blake Jarwin got an 87 overall card. We also have Tyron Smith, who actually got a 95. Looking really good with that 97 pass block. And then Leo Collins as well. Got a new card to right tackle with 9th rim left. But it looks like no Dak. And unfortunately, no Travis Frederick. So... Not sure when they're going to get some upgrades, but hopefully Frederick gets one because I've been holding on to that card literally all year, and I thought maybe now is the time you get a 95 overall. But let's take a look and see if they're actually going to be up in the auction block now. And if you guys haven't seen my 100 team motor pack only from yesterday, you definitely need to check it out because I happened to pull... Three team MVPs in that pack opening, and two of those guys I'll probably end up getting gameplay with later today in the same video. Don't want to spoil that. I also want to pick up Khalil Mack soon. It uh, looks like Eric Ebron is actually up, though. So take a look at his stats for the Kittle. He's got 90 speed. Okay. Uh, I mean, he has 90 speed, but does this make any sense? This is a 96 overall tight end versus a 97 overall tight end. And Kittle either has better everything or the same, except for short run running by one and strength by three. Kittle has four more speed. One more catch, the same catch traffic, same spec catch, same medium route running, same run block. Uh, strength goes to Ebron by three. Uh, Excel is the same. Agility goes to Ebron by eight. Carrying is Kittle by one. This doesn't make any sense. Jumping is to Kittle. They're both six foot four. Trucking, Kittle. Uh, spin and juke move. Actually, he has a really good juke move at 87 overall. It's pretty good. Impact block also goes to Kittle. How is... Ebron the higher overall card here that that makes literally no sense lead block Kittle uh run block power run block finesse I guess finesse goes to Kittle this doesn't make any sense how this is a 97 and this is a 96 but you guys can definitely tell by the stats that he looks better all right well there's Eric Ebron for you if you want to pick up Eric Ebron definitely looks like a pretty solid card it just doesn't make sense to me how uh Kittle was way better like 
by a lot. <laughs> or at least in terms of overalls, like 96, 97, you think it actually beat him in some stats. But they're like the same in basically everything. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into some packs. There are some game changer packs in the store if you want to go ahead and do those. We're going to do some random team builder packs and also some other packs. And uh, see if we're going to be able to luck enough, luck out, and maybe pull in these new guys. We got Connor Williams right there. What is he rocking out with? 86 strength, 83 run block. He, honestly, he didn't really play that good this year. I will say that for sure. He was probably our weakness on that offensive line. Even Joe Looney. The backup center for Travis Frederick. Played really good. We get Jeff Swaim there. Or Goff Swaim. That's Jeff Swaim, I'm pretty sure. Uh, next pack, though. What are we going to get? We get... TJ McDonald. Okay. 94 hit power. And that's 1,300 uh, scouts. I'll take that for sure. Hopefully, the other guys will be up the next time I check the auction block. And I might want to go ahead and do, like, some of the NAT packs as we get someone good. 93 Dalvin Cook. I actually haven't seen this card. 94 speed, 95 Excel. 92 Elusive, 91 break tackle. Pretty solid card right there. Uh, but that was a really good pull. That pays for at least, like, seven packs right there. So not too shabby. Hopefully, though, next time we check the auction block, the other cards will be up. And I'll be able to show you guys their stats as well. I want to see Keenan Allen. And I definitely want to see Jalen Smith. I think... If he has really good speed, I might pick him up because he does have a power-up card. Uh, he has, like, the Team of the Week. He has the Zero Chill. So, uh, it's tough because I have Bobby Wagner and I have Ryan Shazier. So, I feel like if I did it, he probably wouldn't play. So, it would be, like, a lot of coins to use and he just, he won't never see the field. I have to see his stats compared to Wagner because that's the only way he's going to play is if he plays over Ryan. He's probably not going to play over Ryan Shazier. But, I'd imagine the card looked pretty good, but I don't think he's going to be as fast as 99 uh, Bobby Wagner. That's like the only way I would probably pick him up is if he was actually faster than Wagner, or if his stats were just absolutely insane. He's only a 97, my Wagner's a 99, but powered up would be a 98 overall, and I'm sure with Ken Moose could be a 99 as well, but he's not a base 99. So I'm going to have to take a look at the stats, see what I want to do there. Let's keep going with these packs, see if we're going to get anything glitchy, as we don't seem to be on a hot streak here. 80 overall, Montrevious Adams out of that random team builder. Next pack. Nope, okay. We get a 82 Justin Evans. All right, we got a couple more packs in me, and then we'll try out some other packs, see if we can pull them out of like some regular packs here. As we get... Nope, not good. 80 overall, Derek Kindred. This is definitely not going too hot. Come on, man. Give me something good. 82, Billy Turner. Okay, final scout pack. Random team builder player pack. Give me something good. We get... Nope. 82. All right, we're going to hold the L on that one. But let's go ahead and open some other packs now. Uh, I guess we'll do some team builders. Team builder packs are usually actually pretty glitchy here. So let's see if we can pull like a 94 or some 94, 95, maybe even get a 97 MVP. Someone tweeted me yesterday, they pulled an MVP. They pulled two MVPs actually in the same exact freaking pack. How lucky do you have to be to pull two MVPs in one pack? That's insane. If I can get that sort of luck, I'd be pretty happy. That's literally a million coin pack. Doesn't even matter who the players are. They're all going for like 500k guaranteed. As we get 81. And we get Hardy. One last pack, and then okay, we'll check out the auction box, see if these new MVPs are going to be up. Please, man, come on. Give me something good. No. No. And no. All right, so Malcolm Jenkins is up, so let's take a look at his stats compared to Jamal Adams. He's got 91 speed, 95 acceleration, 91 tackling, 97 play rec with a 97 zone, 90 pit power, and a 93 man. You kind of suspect that he's not going to have the best speed, uh, but coverage-wise, he's really, really good. Catching, 87, okay. Jumping of a 93, 6 feet tall, pretty solid stats, 68 block shed, not too bad. Uh, a pretty solid strong safety, I'd say. Do we have Jalen Smith up? I don't think we do. Let me sort by middle linebacker and hopefully it'll pop up. Nope. Okay, let's sort by wide receiver. See if Keenan Allen's going to be up. If they're not up, I'll just hop on over to my head and show you guys their stats over there. As it looks like neither of them are going to be up. So I'll show you guys over on my head. So here is Jalen Smith. And as you guys can see, he has 92 speed. 
with 94 acceleration. He also has a 93 agility, 93 pursuit, 94 tackling with a 96 freaking hit power and a 91 zone coverage. Now to put that into perspective, my 99 Bobby Wagner, I believe has 93 speed. So if you power him up, he's going to have the same exact speed as Bobby Wagner. Honestly, that's pretty good. Uh, not to mention also the fact that if you power him up, he's going to have one more excel. 99 Bobby Wagner has 95 or 94 acceleration. Jalen Smith would have 95. Uh, Agility-wise, it looks as though Bobby Wagner only has a 90. If you power Jalen up, he's going to have 94 agility too. So he's going to be quicker and he's going to be a little bit more fluent around the field. Now, catching as well, he doesn't have a good catching. Wagner has 82 catching with 65 for Jalen. Uh, tackling only 94, of course, Bobby Wagner is at 99 tackling, which is insane. And a 94 block check, apparently 79. But Jalen is more of a user middle linebacker with being just slightly, slightly quicker and a little bit more fluent there. But I definitely like this card. Trade-wise, he's not clutch, has the high motor. Uh, he also has the swim move, and he also has big hitter in strip ball. So definitely a stud. That card looks really, really good. We also have Keenan Allen, you guys see 92 speed, 95 acceleration with a 97 catching, 94 catching traffic, he has a 93 spectacular catch, 97 short, 96 medium, and a 91 deep route running with a 94 release. Card looks overall pretty solid. Uh, for me though, 92 speed, it's still just a little bit too slow. But, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'm probably going to be having at least one gameplay for you guys today. Uh, I'm probably going to try and get Jalen Smith gameplay as well, so I might have two gameplays coming after you later today. But, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.